in a water body, like a river or lake, when too many nutrients are added to the system. Eutrophication starts when fertilizers, which are rich in nutrients like nitrate and phosphate, are washed into the river or lake system. This leads to an increase in nutrient concentrations in the water. The nutrients are food for algae, and the algae grow and reproduce quickly, forming a thick green bloom in the water. This algal bloom will absorb sunlight shining on the water, so the sunlight can't reach the bottom. Plants who need this light to photosynthesize will die. The algae will also start to die when they eat up all of the nutrients and run out of food. Next, bacteria start to break down the dead plants and algae, and that releases more nutrients back into the water, continuing the algal bloom cycle. The bacteria, with a continuing supply of food, reproduce into much larger numbers, consuming oxygen as they grow and respire. There's not much oxygen in the water to begin with, so when the bacteria consume it quickly, it might run out completely. Water without oxygen is called anoxic. If the water turns anoxic, all non-bacterial life in the water, including fish and other animals, will die. So, eutrophication happens when nutrients are added to water which causes an algal bloom, cutting off sunlight and feeding bacteria. The bacteria use up oxygen in the water, which becomes anoxic, causing everything living in the water to die. Eutrophication is one reason why we need to be careful with fertilizers